In this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to operate the new Yamaha CP1 stage piano. With its fundamentally new spectral component modeling, the CP1 combines the advantages of sampling and modeling. This exclusive new Yamaha technology gives this instrument an unequal dynamic performance. The tone generation uses five blocks plus a reverb unit. It is very easy to access the blocks via these front panel buttons. Let's start off with the piano button. To edit these settings, hold down this button shortly. The parameter values for this block will appear in the display. Underneath each value in the display, you turn the knob in order to change that parameter. As you can see, it is totally easy. In this page, I select the piano I want and the type of hammer I'd like to use, or even the resonance of the damper pedal. This button gets you to the preamp page. For each selected piano, there is a matching preamp. Here you can set up typical basic parameters. In this example, I adjust the high frequency and the tremolo level and speed of a Rhodes type piano. The modulation effect. In the old days, we used to have foot pedals for this. Here we have phaser, flanger, chorus, or even a touch wah. The power amplifier and compressor. In this page, we make use of the modeling of vintage amplifiers, speakers, and even a high-end compressor. So you not only have a vintage electric piano, but also the matching amp and speaker for that instrument. In this example, I use a quite extreme setting for the compressor model to generate the sound of an older upright piano. The reverb. In this page, you can select different type of reverbs ranging from a small room to a big concert hall. That's how easy it is to access the different blocks of the CP1 tone generation. Be it reverb, modulation or preamp, each block can easily be switched on or off. In the CP1, we have two tone generators running parallel. So you can split or layer two separate sounds into one even bigger one. In this example, I'm playing a normal piano sound, adding a layer of DX7 type e-piano to it. The common button gives you access to other settings, like the naming of performances, layer or split mode, or the master keyboard functionality. You can split the keyboard into four zones, which is helpful when using external equipment. Bank and program changes, as well as pedal functions, can also be set here. All these settings will be saved to performances. You can also save and load these to and from a USB stick. For overall setting, at the instrument level, there is a 5-band parametric master EQ, which you can access right here. The utility page lets you set the overall tuning, the velocity curve, tuning tables and such. As we have seen, the user interface of the CP1 is simple and straightforward, easy to use. With the six knobs directly underneath the display, one reaches selected parameters without having to jump through a maze of menus. So whether you want to change the sounds or just play the presets, it is just great fun to play this baby. <laughs> 